Imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. Well, this was a big, small picture. So that's I, exactly <laughs> right. I love that. That should be on the poster. How, how did? How? What was the challenge of like have? I mean, there's been other movies. There's been Honey I Shrunk the Kids and Minions and all these other other movies that have shrinking characters. But as a director, how do you compose that? I mean, is there challenges to doing that from what you usually do? Yeah, I think you know we realized we were making a kind of a shrinking movie in 2015, so we had to do it in ways that it hadn't been done. And I kept saying, it's gotta look as photorealistic as possible. But we also gotta have the flexibility of moving the camera around. So it wasn't a thing where like, let's build a giant pencil to make this guy seem small. Yeah. We did uh, motion picture macro photography, we did still macro photography, we did motion capture, all these different uh, ways to kind of get the camera down there, but make it seem real. You give godlike powers to everyone, it's gonna be chaos. So how do we stop him? I know a guy. Scott, I've been watching you for a while. You're different. And I believe everyone deserves a shot at redemption. Do you? Absolutely. My days of breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. Makes sense. And Marvel versus the obviously Marvel seems to be winning right now. But is there like a different feel to the, the comedy? It seems like in Marvel it seems a lot more, uh, less dark, more right. comedy. Is, is that something that when you go into it, you're, you're thinking about as far as those two universes? Well, I, I grew up a total comics nerd as a kid. And I just happened to be a Marvel kid. I, I loved all those characters. Because in the comics, they were written with this real attitude, you know, like this sort of editorial attitude. And it's carried over into the movies. I also think in doing a movie called Ant-Man where his powers are shrinking and controlling ants, they're such weird powers yeah. that you want to have fun with it. I mean, you want to have real stakes and, and have it be serious, but you know, you've got to kind of do it with a wink. But you also have these family dynamics. I mean, there's, I'm a father of, of two girls and, and a boy, but you know, that mother, that father daughter relationship is very prevalent in it. How is it, how did you, what was the challenges of selling those relationships to the audience? I think that was the thing about Ant-Man that immediately made it different than any of the other Marvel movies to me is that Scott Lang's a parent. And I thought that was a really cool dynamic. Here's a guy getting out of prison, he just wants to get his life back on track and be a part of his daughter's life and these temptations keep coming up and he gets drawn into this much larger thing. But you know, the idea of dealing with that, I thought was really, really strong. It's 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 by its nature kind of a smaller, more intimate Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I first met with Marvel and we were talking about it, it's like it's a movie where the third act battle takes place in a little girl's bedroom. And I thought that was just a great, <laughs> great concept, a great twist on, yeah, yeah. on the third act battle. Are you ready to become a hero? Now, the suit has power. You have to learn how to control it. And these are your greatest allies. You're kind of cute. Whoa. When you're small, you have superhuman strength. You like a bullet. So you need to know how to punch. You want to show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. That's how you punch. It, you, as you just spoke when you started with Marvel, it's been reported that this movie, you know, was started with a, with a different director, sure. Edgar. Do, do you pick up anything from where he left off, or is it just like clean slate? You know, I'm, I'm yeah. starting it. Well, Edgar and Joe wrote a bunch of drafts of the movie, um, and there's the great stuff. It was their idea it was to, to sort of make it a heist movie, and to really kind of uh, have the Scott Lang. Hank Pym mentor mentee dynamic. Um, that was all Edgar and Joe, and that was a great, great idea. Um, when I came on, Adam McKay and Paul started doing rewrites on the script, and you know we took that basic idea and characters and, and even took it further. Mm -hmm. um, you know we wanted, I think, even more emotion in the movie because yeah. we were doing these fathers. There are two father daughter stories in the movie. Yeah. Um, two guys who have kind of you know two been heroes. alienated yeah. from their daughters, and uh, that was important to, to sort of strengthen that and. And, and make it emotional. And last question, Marvel's been known for these 
the Easter egg, the after credit scene, and everything else. As a director, and, and Entourage and other movies have stolen it recently. <laughs> yeah. But as a director, do you direct that as pickup days, or is that all in the regular shoot, or is that like a whole different shoot when you're doing? Well, in our case, um, it was part of the shoot. We we knew that um, you know there were certain elements of the movie that were gonna you know particularly with Hope's character that we wanted to sort of show, and then also um, you know it was something that we talked about a lot that we really wanted to be a part of the movie. So it was something we planned out in the regular shoot days. Great job. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, likewise. Right. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now, it's gonna blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. Scott, get out of there. Stop the future! You're just a thief! No. I'm Ant-Man. I know. It wasn't my idea.